Welcome to Rootstem Gaming and today we're going to be doing unboxing. So ignore the piles of plastic. This is going to be an unboxing on a figure that was released at the weekend. It's taken nearly a week for him to arrive. because That's really irritating. And uh, yeah, it's, oh of course if you've seen the thumbnail then it's Sanguinus. But it's going to be a special edition one, the one with the actual base the additional box set so it actually comes in two parts so i'm guessing that of course this is going to be the bottom base that's going to be the top base and i'm going to get my lovely assistant beverly yes she looks dead excited to do this uh to actually unbox this for me right so because beverly's got better looking hands than me she can open the box and that's the car going past the open window Ooh. That's quite nice. No. Oh look! Oh look! An assembly guide. That is quite rare for Forge World. Even it's even in green to tell you which bits to do when. So it's an actual assembly guide for Forge. I'm quite impressed with that, to be honest with you, because normally we don't do such things. So let's see how much. Oh, it comes in two perhaps. I've not done a lot of the big figures. I've mainly done a lot of the smaller ones. Oh, you have a obligatory. This has been checked by so and so. This is what you need to do when working with resin. And uh, tell us our check by number because if it's wrong, we can charge him. <laughs> That's basically what that one's saying. In the first plastic sleeve, what do we have there, Bev? Um, legs. Legs. Yes. I'm guessing that's just for standard base for him to go on to. Yeah. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Heads. <laughs> Head, shoulders, knees and toes. I thought we were joking. Oh, there's some fiddly bits. There is some fiddly bits, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to keep a track of Bev's movements, but she's really quick because I don't think she's used to recording. Well, I don't really know how long you want to just stare at. Bits of plastic. Yeah. You're telling me. There they are. <laughs> They're actually numbered. That's a first. So they've got yeah. to go into particular sections then. Right, so I'm guessing these are some of the parts of the alternative weapons because you can either have a sword or a spear. Um, I've not managed to actually look at the rules properly for him yet, so I don't know which weapon I'll be going with. Ooh. That is a fancy looking sword. And it's incredibly small detailed. I can see the I can see that spear snapping. <laughs> I really can. It's a little bit forge well bent. That's a very thin spear. Very thin. But yeah, I can see this um, spear might be a bit of a problem. Um, it's never a good thing. Oh, legs. Just an elbow. Yeah, just a head, shoulders, knees and toes. And little, little icons to stick all over the armour. Why they can't be concluded, I don't know. Hmm... So this one comes with a second tub of plastic, and we, we know what this is going to contain. It's going to be the wings. And I'm actually quite interested to see how big these wings are going to be. We did see the model at Forge World on the, uh, the stand, you know, the one that we went for on the museum. Mm -hmm. They're wrapped. They look nice. Very an angelic. They're going to be an absolute arse to paint. Because <laughs> we all love painting white, don't we, boys and girls? Oh, Christ. There'll be a guide. There'll be a guide somewhere. Now, do they seem quite thin to you, Brad? Mm, I don't know. No, not really. Quite thick at the base. What's it like up here? It's actually, yeah, it's quite stiff. It's not... Don't get me wrong, I don't want to be, like, yanking it, but... They're not bad wings, then. 
I can see people buying this for the wings and doing something else with them. I thought it's here's a hell of an expensive model just to be buying it for wings. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. So Bev's going to wrap that back up. Hmm. Let's open up his base. She will get into it. Oh, I really can't Like Christmas. She's in. Oh, another set of instructions. I'm not used to Forgeville providing you with instruction book. What? Why does it look like there's more bits on the base than there is on the figure? Packed by the same person. Again, this is who they can blame when they've got to give away a refund. I think there's more detail in that base than there is the main figure. Mm -hmm. Oh Christ. Stein. You do know that's upside down. That's the way it came out. <laughs> that one's come out upside down. You're not the same with that one. I won't now. It's got some lovely detail to that. I will try and get it as close to the box art, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Quite done quite a good job with it. Hmm, quite like that. It's opening another parcel. <laughs> These are gonna be all the demon parts then. It's like it's a full another full model on base, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. You don't really get this much sight of a detail. That's the bit that you put across the base yeah. when it's going to be locked in. Mm. More, probably more bits that you've got to add. It's not exciting. No. That's a good looking piece. That's going to be the main body of the uh, poor victim that Sanguinus is skewering. Can't look at that and can't figure out which bit's which. Which bit's the front, which bit's the back, is yeah. what you're trying to tell me? Yeah. I'm sure when you're assembling it, Bev, because you're going to be a really good missus and uh, help me out, aren't you? Yep. I would not trust myself with this. <laughs> You won't trust myself with any other rest of it, so I don't know why you trust me with this one. <laughs> Sweeping glance. These are not mine, by the way. Future games. Oh, they look fiddly. <laughs> so, the, the Sanguinus model look quite solid, and then these bits look quite fiddly. What's that one like, that long one? Pretty solid. Yeah. Doesn't look it. You have a feel. No, that feels a bit. Uh, that feels a bit accident waiting to happen. That one. That feels a bit. I'm a bit clumsy when it comes to painting sometimes and drop it, and that's just going to break. I'm going to have to put mats about. Oh look, hard roll wonky. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. A bit of um, hot water submerging or. Sometimes using a uh, hairdryer, that can do the trick as well on that. Makes it look nice. Makes it look nice. Right then guys, so yeah, quite like the look of that, but Bev has just pointed something out while my daughter tries to talk in the background because we're currently in the playroom. Um, there is a particular hand piece that comes with Sangrina, so it looks like if you've got him on a base bit here, you can't, you're going to have to make sure that you don't, you don't assemble the hand pieces from that, but you're going to be assembling the hand pieces from this. So if you decided to buy Sanguinus and later on buying the diorama model, you might be a bit stuck. Because if you built him up with the hand, mm -hmm. you're going to have to cut the hand off to be able to stick into the diorama base. 
Um, Bev did point out that resin dust can be harmful. And what should I always wear, Bev? A dust mask or um, a respirator. What do I not wear? A dust mask or a respirator. <laughs> Are you worried about my future? No. No. Is my life insurance policy really, really expensive? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Are you due to get a lot? Is that what it is? I wish. <laughs> to be honest, if I could actually get a lot for a life insurance policy, I've got a funny feeling, ladies and gentlemen, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> I would have met my end accidentally somehow. It is a, it's, it's a quite detailed base. I've come across some of the bases before. I've done a Horus one and... Did I do an Angron base? No, I don't think I managed to do an Angron base. I think it was just the Angron figure. That is... That's the first time I've ever seen as well Forge World giving you a bit of an instruction booklet. <laughs> <laughs> as if to say, this one's a bit complicated. We best make sure people know what we're doing. What's your opinion on the figure? So far, did it look nice? I can't wait to see it built and painted. You can't wait to see it built and painted. Well, no, I mean, we I can't wait. We'll have to wait. Yeah, I've got uh, a few commissions that's coming before that. Uh, I might see if Mills wants uh, has his. I think he's got a Horus, and I want to, I'm going to see whether or not he wants both. I might do a painting video of both Sanguinus and Horus together. Mm. That'd be quite an interesting one. That'd be very fascinating, in actual fact. Right. It's a quick, simple, boring video of me unboxing Sanguinus. But that was quite interesting to find out about the hand. Which, if you do not want to move... If you want to move Sanguinus in and out of the base, do not glue the base rear or Sanguinus's left arm to part 19 demon horns with hand. Hmm. In fact... The, the hand... This shadow is terrible. The hand... Is already by the looks of it part of the horn. So we've actually got the piece out because we're just having a look. So Grinis's hand is part of the horn, it's not separate. So if you were to have Sanguinus on this diorama base, when he goes into battle, he's gonna he's not gonna have a left hand. So he's gonna look a bit like that. <laughs> and if you are deciding to buy these, you know, this diorama base separate oh that's not going to look cracking I'll be honest with you no I suppose you could try and magnetise it but you're going to need an incredibly small magnet to make sure that it doesn't or I wonder if some form of pin vice might work a bit of the old school pinning drill it in making sure that the hand can be pinned on the model but when it, the angle that it's at will just come off what weapon do you think you're going to put with him? I don't know. I don't know whether to have the um, the blade or the, the, the sword or a spear. I think personally. All right. All right. So there's two different bits for the scabbard as well. That's pretty cool. That is really cool. That in actual fact. Um, the blade itself. I don't know. Um, I don't really know what the rules are. Once I find out what the, um, I've got to have a look properly, I've not really had a look properly yet. Once I find out what the rules are properly for Sanguinus' spear and his blade, or whether or not it's going to be, but the spear's going to look better on this base. Mm -hmm. It's going to look a bit more, no I do think, I do think Sanguinus coming down with a spear is going to fit that base better than Sanguinus coming down with a sword. Unless people want to leave me a comment, tell me what I actually, uh, what they prefer, and then if I get, whoever gets the uh, the most messages regarding that, I might, I might change my mind. Might yeah, convince you. me. Convince me which one to go for. Which ones have you gone for? Well, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for Forge World for being incredibly late with dispatching this. Um, since it came out on Friday and it is now at the time of recording Wednesday night So it's took them nearly a week to get a pre-order through because you'd pre order so this impatient. before I had I am impatient. I am when I could have gone down to Nottingham and picked it up on the day of release You might have sold out. We might have done. We might have had an issue. 
Pack it in. The mind. <laughs> I don't care. Anyone who think your birthday weren't till June? Yes, this is an early birthday present. <laughs> Fine. We'll end on that note. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>